Mark, I don't think any of your audience needs any explanation about what this issue is. So let me just delve into three things that I've seen about it. Two of them encouraging. One, amongst the NFL community, it's good to see discussions on how appropriately to acknowledge the legitimate issues facing a league where the majority of players are African American in their communities, how to balance that with ways of showing respect to our country and ways of also balancing their obligations to their team. So you see some teams getting together to take a knee. You saw the Steelers where one player who was an Army veteran of several tours Ranger. in Afghanistan, <laughs> airborne, uh, stand and then later came back and said uh, that he may have thrown his team under the bus. So he's having a good discussion with his team, with his community on how to do this also. That discussion is healthy for the league and our country. In a di the second point is I'm seeing a very healthy diversity of discussion amongst my fellow veterans on how to do this. Some of us take the approach. We served our country. We put our lives on the line for that flag, for the country, and by gosh, folks should stand for it. Others have said what I was fighting for was our right to express ourselves, and I'll continue to defend that to the, the day I die. And then others are taking a, a, an approach in between. That's good. What is not helpful, though, is a president who got multiple draft deferments from Vietnam and a lot of armchair patriots who have not signed up to defend our country since it was attacked in 9-11, all of a sudden deciding that the ultimate litmus test for patriotism is whether someone does or doesn't kneel or stand for the national anthem.